Hello, everyone, and welcome to this webinar on Hughes Managed SD WAN for Retail B2B Secure, Fast, and Agile. Today, we are going to deliberate on how you can transform your network from unmanaged to managed with Hughes on managed service portfolio. Today, we have with us an eminent list of speakers. And I take this privilege to introduce them to you. Today, we have with us Anne Jairam, Senior Director and Marketing Head, Hughes, Mr. Sanjay Gupta, Director Sales, Hughes, Mr. Raj Gopal Nayak, CTO, Metro Brands Limited, and Ms. Shilpa Chaudhary, Marketing Manager, Hughes. I would request Ms. Shilpa Chaudhary to share her presentation and give us the information about Hughes. Over to you, Shilpa. Thank you, Hitesh. Hello and good afternoon to everyone. It's a pleasure being here today presenting about Hughes to you all. I would begin by sharing the Hughes journey in India and tell you a bit more about us. We have been in service since 1995 and it's been an extremely positive customer experience of 26 years. Being the first to start VSAT services in India, we have now grown to one of the largest provider of broadband satellite and managed network services with the largest shared hub operations anywhere in the world and definitely the largest in India. We have a very good customer base, which comprises of all these logos, which you can see on screen and many more. They are the who's who of the Indian industry, corporates, retail, government, defense, banking, and a plethora of other different sectors. We have always been profitable and have a majority market share of 43.38% as on date, as per TRAI. And with the Bharti Airtel VSAT merger, which is going to come to fruition later in the year, is going to get to a very dominant 68%. We have multiple lines of business in India, from satellite bandwidth to managed network services, aero and maritime mobility, SATCOM integration, and distance education services too. So all in all, it is quite a service-driven business with selling a lot of infrastructure for India. We are contributing to different elements elements of the huge of the Indian economy from the corporate to rural India to the government bridging the digital divide, enabling digital applications, enabling end user and citizen services. So whether you see it is a retail enterprise with managed services for the quick service restaurants, for your point of sale outlets, or be it across banking, for their core banking applications, be it across movie dis distribution, for education, for the government and defense, digital India networks, even mobility with maritime and aero services. Again, oil and gas and energy sectors, we are present as a leadership in the leadership position in the retail space with major oil, all the oil majors with us like IOCL, HPCL, BPCL, Reliance, Nayara, and Shell. Hughes is present across all of these key vertical markets and across all this mix, we have the best of customers and we provide the best of services and solutions there. Over the years, we have been winning multiple awards and the recognition is even more sweet when the award is in the very segments that we are having the webinar on and also the customer finds value in the same services. We were recognized by the Economic Times where we won the award for the best managed network service provider in the broadband and product category. We were also recognized by Frost and Sullivan where we won the best practices award for the company of the year 2020. And we are very happy with these awards. 
12th year 12 years in a row we have been winning the digital leadership award for the best vsat company of the year in india where wherever we have won these awards we are very happy and especially so that they look at the different elements which really go into making us win such awards be it for innovation and leadership be it for equity brand equity be it for competitive positioning and differentiation or the best practices in growth more than 4 lakh 50000 global enterprise sites around the world employ our hubzon innovative cloud ready network and managed solutions to make their networks high performing more secure more reliable and definitely most cost efficient and we use the best of media mix to provide these services we've also had very successful installations across more than 30000 as you and sites globally so as you can see hugs globally is the leader in managed services across 2018 2019 and 2020 we are pleased to be recognized for the third straight year to have earned a top ranking on the 2020 us career managed sd wan services leaderboard as a leading managed sd wan provider in the us it's a reflection of the value of our managed sd wan solution to our customers as a trusted managed sd wan leader hugs delivers on the promise of the hugs on managed services solution which transforms an ordinary broadband connection into enterprise grade high performance wan and we have built the managed network services stack in india leveraging on hugs global experience and technology we have also been recognized as a challenger because of the company's ability to execute and completeness of vision in the gartner november 2020 magic quadrant for the managed network services so hugs has scored the highest in all five managed network use cases in this particular managed network services report and that's really heartening to know now these are our key customer verticals globally we have a very good brand names across multiple segments in in particular retail businesses if you see they're evolving in numerous dimensions and so are their networks which serve the distributed branches and sites retail businesses like yours need access to multiple mission critical business applications that drive your business in addition to core applications of yours like point of sale employee training and back office applications there are emerging applications like customer interactive kiosks guest wifi and ip security monitoring so hugs has taken a tailored approach to build solutions designed and optimized to meet business needs that's why many of the world's most successful brands rely on hugs to deliver high performance high availability and secure uh, network solutions so this is our hugs india infrastructure and support in a nutshell at hugs india our hubs have been strategically placed at geographies where we have seismic and geographic level redundancies we have two state of the art data centers at gurgaon and hyderabad we have nni with all major telcos in their data centers there are 250 plus point of presence service locations across the country we have expert network monitoring systems providing real time statistics we have a very vast experience with managed network customers and partners and round the clock 24/7 operations and engineering staff availability even throughout the pandemic times having serviced more than a lakh or rather more than a lakh 25 enterprise customers across all locations this is a very interesting slide it's the huge managed network service 
and customers equally supporting as well as endorsing us hughes managed broadband delivers the best and the perfect high performance enterprise grade network connection with the highest level of uptimes across more than 16000 sites and more than 22000 broadband and lte links across the country anywhere you do business especially for your distributed networks retail chains franchisee stores and many more such locations we are well equipped to cater to your connectivity needs and we offer a very healthy media mix to optimize your network to provide the access types and the speeds that can best meet your organizational needs so that is it from my side thank you so much to you jeram uh thanks a lot shilpa for that introduction and uh, it sets the mood for the rest of the afternoon uh, i mean and good afternoon to all participants i really appreciate uh, the time that you have taken out to come and uh, listen to us i'll just uh, start sharing my screen and uh, take you forward quickly to what i have to say so uh, today what i want to stress on is about how enterprise can benefit by transforming uh, its network from a unmanaged network to a managed network so before we go get into that uh, we need to understand what a managed network means and one of the critical components is the transport layer that is a connectivity so just let's have a look at how the wan scenarios are changing in india this is how the enterprise locations are getting connected or what are the options uh, that are being uh, considered today earlier till maybe early last year it was purely mpls and mpls provided by three or four players but now due to various reasons uh, like need for very high speed uh, then uh, availability of other options like lt and broadband and last but not the least due to a shift in how the applications are accessed or rather where the applications are hosted earlier it used to be purely uh, in a data center or in a customer uh, whether it's customer contracted or own, customer's own data center now it is moved to cloud so that has a uh, change or necessary change in thinking and also when it comes to retail locations or retail stores most of them are in shopping malls shopping arcades i'm talking about the retail chains and there also mpls may not be practical because most of the mpls today that we have is on rf and with a which requires a mast to be put up at the location where connectivity is required so most of the places fiber or wireless last miles are preferred now why customers why this change in uh, thinking because customers saying look what i want is we want speed no constraints on bandwidth we don't want to be scalable when we want to increase and we should be, we should be able to increase without any hassles it should be reliable and available that means the uptime fault resolutions that should be fast and it should be secure and of course i should have visible i mean at a at a higher level uh, many customer would say that i want a better visibility of my network my device my users the application being used i don't care what kind of connectivity is being used as long as my stores are connected and they are able to bill they are able to do whatever i want them to do and business is not affected that is the bottom line so based on that background let let's move forward uh we have a product a service called huson which is nothing but a lt based mpls or a managed lt now this is a pure a very sla driven uh, service for up time we give 99% plus up time monthly up time per site on a site level uh, and it's a preferred alternate to rf mpl this is not new service it's been there for 6 months a uh, 6 year sorry thank you pardon now and has been adopted by all the major enterprises telcos as an mpl substitute and 
it is a fully secure inherently wherein the lte uh, links don't have internet access and voice only customer allowed applications even though it's even if it's uh, it has to be external internet there to be a central breakout only customer allowed applications are uh, what do you call allowed in the link so it is a secure network and you can run ipsec or any other uh, encryption on this and it has we have tie up with multiple uh, lte service providers like airtel vodafone idea etc and we have various brands of services where in there could be a single link service there could be a, a multi link service there could be a aggregation of multiple lte links etc now as i mentioned we have 16000 plus enterprise sites across the various segments oil retail atm bank branch uh, in urban and rural areas uh, enterprise uh, customer branches and that is non banking branches and we are having 22000 plus lte links across the 16000 sites because many sites are multiple lte links we are managing uh, we do the entire end to end uh, the, uh, the cp is enterprise grade we uh, we are the single point of contact for anything uh, even if there are three service providers in the back end customer has to contact only qs and we provide the sla and uh, as i said we have this partnership with all these telcos and i can safely say claim that we are the largest enterprise lte network in india with this uh, tie ups that we have in the back end now as i mentioned earlier there are um, a, i mean predominantly three flavors of service one is a single lte link service it's a 200 rupees service second is high availability wherein uh, there are two lt uh, last miles or links from two different service providers one configure secondary other is pri uh, primary and with the primary fails secondary takes over seamlessly so th this brings in the higher availability as compared to a single link lt and this is something which is unique to us and and no telco can offer the service a third is a bonded lt wherein we offer guaranteed 4 mbps 6 mbps service bandwidth and this bonding can happen with two or three lt links of the same uh, service provider or multiple service provider this is again something unique to us which nobody else can provide so uh, these are the reasons why telcos have adopted adapted the service as into their service portfolio and enterprises are accepted it so this is just a brief i won't take too much time on this basically the, mess, uh, the uh, traffic flow is from the e node b on the bts on lt then throughout the traffic your traffic travels through the telco mpls cloud and then hand it to our mpls cloud qs mpls cloud then we hand it over to the uh, private cloud of the customer or a data center whatever uh, customer wants and when it comes to bonding the same method but the only difference here is there's a bonding aggregation device at our knock uh, which actually combines the individual links to provide a high speed uh, single link now i mean briefly where all it can be deployed this is purely from the use cases that we have seen uh, new sites new network uh, and it could be a quick startup wherein uh, mpls or some other uh, there is no other infrastructure but you want a quick startup that's definitely this is better suited and it's been proven all in uh, application many erps internet uh, core banking solution fast and uh, store and forward surveillance and even live surveillance so uh, as i mentioned what this is a unique thing the guaranteed high speed service this is a bonded uh, bonding of multiple lte links uh, inbuilt auto failover because there are two or three lte links one fails other takes over and it's for the medium and to high user branches or uh, locations now we have a diverse portfolio of cpes uh, and some of cpes are made by us made in india designed by us to give all the uh, features that a customer requires and to deliver a service which is to the i would say satisfaction of an enterprise customer or at least qualifies as enterprise state service uh, we have a single link give indoor and outdoor routers we are single link both indoor and outdoor then we have a uh, dual link indoor with uh, auto failover without bonding then we have a dual and triple link with bonding indoor and outdoor so various options are there both indoor and outdoor so many places where uh, the service is not available indoor may be available outdoor so that's that's where the outdoor router comes into play and um, as i mentioned apart from lte we have a managed broadband service also which is pan india and it's a business broadband service with a local breakout and we have multiple national state level partners not just telcos other partners which have been carefully chosen 
and it's the SLA driven. Um, time, MTTR, security, everything taken care of. And we, our endeavor is to give more than 60% links with a fiber last mile. It is not definitely not possible to give 100%, but we give the maximum uh, on fiber last mile. And we have different plans ranging from 5 Mbps to 50 or even 100 Mbps as per the customer requirement. Now, just a uh, nutshell, the managed service advantages, the one window interaction, use is a SPOC, uh, is centralized billing, uniform prices, uh, then uh, enterprise support, I said 99 plus percent plus uh, uptime, we can have LTE broadband kind of combination to give a site level uptime closer to 100%. It's fully secure, uh, different levels of monitoring and maintenance, uh, monitoring, maintenance of course, we take care, the coverage is very high on LTE, and uh, it's a fully managed service, LTE broadband. So everything you get under one uh, window. Now, let me, let me go into uh, some of the products uh, key product. This is a product which we have made. It's a 100% branch router, and uh, it's it's a diversity router. It has dual active active LTE links, so we give two and four Mbps kind of service on this. It has a LTE and a Wi-Fi can be optional. Uh, it has three configurable gigabit Ethernet ports. Uh, it supports, I mean, all routing protocols, all kind of application. It can have a zero touch provisioning support also to built in. Then, uh, okay. This is just a, uh, taking through, it's, it's got, again, dual SIM slots. It can have uh, IPsec configured as an initiator and as a pass-through. Some places, you already have a router. So uh, router, that IPsec might be uh, generated from the router. So this IN finder can, this is a pass-through. It's a very good, robust operating system. It's got auto-link failover. It's got all kind of load balancing per packet or per connection. In short, any type of application, combination of applications can work on this. Uh, on the load balancing and to give a higher throughput for you and multiple power options it supports normal traditional uh, power option as well as uh, power over ethernet so we have an outdoor version of that it's a single LAN port and uh, single pue cable and everything else is same as the uh, indoor uh, features are same as indoor version now we have apart from this uh, our own products we have deployed on uh, hp cps uh, TechRoot, Huawei, CradlePoint, Cisco. So the message is that, okay, hardware, CP is important, but we ensure two things. One, if you are providing a CP, it will be enterprise grade. B, we can also look at some of your, ex if your existing CPs or you prefer some CPs, some make or brand, we can work with that. So that way, in a way, we are agnostic in that manner. Our focus on giving the service that you require. And Quickly, the next layer, after the transport layer comes the SD-WAN and the visibility. So the visibility and the manageability of multiple non-MPLS broadband-based links or connectivity services are controlled by SD-WAN. So what is SD-WAN service about? Again, there are, as I mentioned, three layers. One is a transport layer. We have uh, just discussed that. Uh, we can provide broadbands, uh, that is business broadband, then, uh, various flavors of LT, manage LT, use on that I uh, mentioned earlier, high speed internet lease lines, high throughput satellite. We are also VSAT service, leading VSAT service for as you have seen in Shilpa's section or Shilpa's presentation. Now, VSAT is important because it can provide connectivity to the remoter service sites. So that way we are the only service provider who can provide assure connectivity for 100% of your sites, wherever sites may be. So that is one unique aspect of ours. Uh, the edge device, as I said, is a feature rich, made in India, scalable, uh, low cost, uh, so it's affordable, and different customized uh, options for different requirements. We have different options there also. If you have somebody who wants a very high, high uh, level of uh, security or a lot of features, we have the options, CD, uh, uh, SDN options for that also. And the single play, plane of glass visibility and manageability, that is zero touch provisioning, centralized management, I mean granular view and enhanced visibility and reporting. That is something we can guarantee. I will, uh, you can, I will, can, I will take you through some of the screenshots. Unfortunately, uh, there's no time, uh, enough time to show a live demo. I would have loved to do that. And if at all somebody is interested in that, we are most welcome to uh, have a live demo. Uh, we can organize session for you and your team. Uh, so I talked about all, all about it. How the media fitment would do? Go, go, I mean, we go about the media fitment uh, based on 
there are two things. One is a customer preference, which of course is the uh, customer would prefer high speed, uh, lower cost, lower latency. And another important factor is availability. In India, everything is fine, but you have to go by what is available at that point. But one good part is that we will give you the best possible availability, uh, chance of giving you the, your preferred connectivity option because we have multiple partners and very good reach for broadband and LTE. So the combination that we would look at for any anywhere preferred media would be a broadband primary by a, a backed up by a dual or a bonded LTE. So that is like the best possible option. Uh, the second option is internet lease line backed up by a dual bonded LTE. The, I, what I meant was by saying second option is no by is no by no means is inferior, but internet lease lines are definitely going to be more expensive than broadband, a business broadband. So that's, that's I'm coming from a, a value performance preference rather than it is no slur on any uh, media uh, option. Uh, the, and there are rural sites. So there could be a combination that you may not get broadband, you may not get internet lease line, you may not get MPLS, you may not get any terrestrial connections. So there we go for a dual bonded LTE with a two Mbps or four Mbps as a uh, primary backed up by high throughput satellite VSAT. Uh, with a four, eight Mbps kind of a VSAT connection, VSAT broadband. And for extremely remote sites where nothing is available, of course, VSAT is the only option. So the first two options would cover more than 90% of sites. Typically, last two options could be 10, 12%. I mean, so again, one point, we are a service provider who can give you connectivity in all of your locations. So we all said all that. I mean, now just summing up. So at one level, at a basic level, uh, we can give you a single link LTE broadband, uh, with SLA for uptime, limited visibility, up-down status. Then you graduate, next level would be a dual LTE, uh, high availability with auto failover between two different telcos. In two, that means in one CP, you're getting two links, uh, two LTE links, but from two different service providers. So with SLA for MTTR, uptime, latency, uh, and okay, basic visibility. Then you're talking about a guaranteed dual triple, wanted links, a guaranteed speed, high speed links on LTE with two or three LTE links. That we can give you bandwidth utilization, uh, uptime, visibility of up, down, et cetera. And then we're talking about at all this, like on top of all this, we can give you a SD-WAN layer, which also can have different options. One could be, say, uh, you bring your own connectivity. Like, for example, you have your own broadband and LTE links available at the site. And you are pretty okay with that. But you want a SD-WAN layer for the visibility part. So we bring in the SD-WAN and we provide those reporting dashboard views, uh, manage this uh, SD-WAN infrastructure. And you continue to manage the, as a customer, manage the connectivity. Second could be a fully managed service, wherein we bring in everything, the primary, secondary connectivity and the SD-WAN layer. So we take the ownership of the entire site, the site uptime and the visibility, the reporting, et cetera. And the third could be hybrid model, wherein uh, we bring in the SD-WAN and one of the connectivity, one of them, maybe a primary or secondary, Whereas the other link is managed by a uh, customer, maybe because these are all practical aspects. So you, you may not want to change everything uh, for the sake of it. If you're happy with some parts, you may want to continue with that. You may have existing relationship with some service providers, you want to continue with that. So we have all the options. So you want only a backup link on, uh, we have, you have broadband link, you want a backup for LTE, we are there. You want on, on an existing hardware, CP, brand CP. If you want a brand CP plus one connection, we are there. We want a SD band plus branch connection on uh, 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 some CP, we are there. So all kind of combination, we are there to help you all. And it, you can actually pick and choose. That's why the uh, symbolic this is a burger, burger it's, it's like a topping. You can add your toppings. You can have a basic version or you can have an enhanced version as you do, uh, as you're comfortable. So just to look at very... Uh, Brief look at the SD-WAN CP that it's made in India. We call it IN Finder Dex. That is the name of the uh, device. It is a it has ZTP. It has uh, six gigabit Ethernet ports. I mean, it is an optional fiber port. Uh, it's a high availability uh, router. It has got auto path selection, auto path assignment for critical application based on latency, jitter, and packet loss of uh, the links. And it has LTE is backed up by by default comes with the MIMO antennas, which actually enhances the stability of the links, the LT links. And we can have different QoS, quality of service parameters that can be defined. Uh, supports IPsec, 
It has firewall access links to block unwanted traffic. Uh, as I mentioned, load balancing to of LT between LT and broadband. I mean, it's it, it's got all the features that you're looking for. And I'm not going to spend too much time. This is the security features. It has a stateful firewall. So uh, the connectivity comes in with some. Prep, uh, I mean, yeah, we can. It can work with a public and private AP and LT. That's the local and central breakout. Uh, uh, any type of broadband. Then we have access security, content filtering, uh, multi-level access. So a lot of these features are built into this uh, particular CP. Then uh, it's made in India. It's it's a very fully loaded CP. I mean, you won't get any CP uh, entry-level CP with a uh, from any other OEM with a six gigahertz of ports, two onboard dual at slots, and optional fiber port. That means with one CP, you are able to get a broadband. You are if maybe two three places you can connect your laptops or PCs directly to it uh, because we have so many ports. Then you have two LT slots. So with one CP, I mean, you can do uh, get all your work done. Unlike some other options wherein you have multiple uh, hardware required for LT for uh, broadband, etc. And I said the per packet and per session. I have told uh, said enough on that. I don't want to spend too much time on that. It's a fanless design, so it's a heat dissipation is much better, and the life uh, the uh, failures are lower. And it as an optional uh, service, you can integrate the an IT certified ITM ticketing tool. Protocol of it, so this is also can be incorporated into it. This is this by design. It is available, and it's a flexible and scalable uh, configuration and offered on cloud. So you don't have to put up any infrastructure in your data center. It's all managed by us. So just the last portion on the visibility, the monitoring, control, reporting. So it's centrally managed for provisioning, configuration, maintenance, and for network and application visibility. You can have a site summary, site overview, network overview. Site performance view, everything is there, and all logs, system logs are there for analysis, analysis with multiple reports and configurable reports, and you can do trend analysis also. So, uh, I mean, basically on the configuration side, you have central uh, zero touch provisioning, remote graphic user interface, and you can make it into a single group, multiple groups. Many, for example, you want to have region-wise configuration. Uh, suppose you have a 500 uh, retail centers across four regions, so you want a re Group into different regions, zones that can be possible, and each person uh, and and defined access level, and if customized preloaded templates for ease of configuration that is possible. Then maintenance we gave the of course the uh, software update, bugs remediation, performance improvement, etc. So just quickly go this. So we can have a network map. It's a lat long based remote map spread. So uh, I mean it can color coded. Because if it's green, it's live. Suppose you 100 sites, it can be mapped over uh, India map. I can see a visible, uh, view, bird's eye view of where your sites are. And if the site is down, it shows red. If the site is up, it's green. So that you'll know how many are live and up in one one glance. So, and these are the some of the screenshots where you're talking about uh, the applications, uh, which are the protocols working, top categories, uh, and as I said, it has an integrated uh, call logging system, the number of calls open in which region. Uh, I mean, it, it can be as granular as you want to be. It can be, you want to know the status of last one hour, last one minute, last one day, last one week, everything you can choose. Then, uh, as I mentioned, the grouping, region-wise grouping. So this is, as if you want a, a north-based or south-based uh, uh, zone-wise grouping. Then this, Gives you the health status of everything, uptime, CPU utilization, memory, link quality. You, you can see the uh, device uptime, CPU utilization, then the uh, different signal strength of the LT links, uh, the how is the bandwidth, jitter, latency for different links, link wise, and definitely the utilization, uh, continuous utilization of each link. So everything uh, about the site is available, the site performance. What is the kind of download, upload, data usage has been going on for 24 hours, 12 hours, one hour, etc. It's, it's instant in here. It's real time. And what are the top applications? Like for example, HTTP, Google, uh, everything is listed out. IP, different IPs. So you get full visibility of your network. And it helps you to diagnose many, uh, as a network manager CIO, you'll be able to diagnose 
many problems and take appropriate uh, timely measures or have timely interventions. So just uh, that was to give you a brief idea. Just uh, this is my last slide. Summing up, we are a focused enterprise service provider for the past 26 years. We have been here since 1995. And uh, so, and we have, as you have seen, uh, we are serving the cream de la cream of our Indian uh, enterprises, whether it's private, public sector, or government uh, customers. And again, uh, I'm, this is the third time I'm saying, but it's important. Uh, and uh, I'm no, I know you'll appreciate sometimes you struggle to get connectivity, reliable connectivity for or enterprise grade connectivity for some of your locations. So we are one of the service providers who can provide 100%. In fact, we are the, I, I can say that we are the only service provider who can provide 100% uh, connectivity uh, to your locations through satellite, your broadband, LTE, various players of LTE service. We are a smaller, a small organization, not as big as a telco. And uh, that is our strength. We are adaptive, we are nimble footed. So we are very fast uh, and agile. And we have been, as I said, we have been here for the past 26 years and we evolved from a pure VSAT provider uh, to a managed service provider. So that's because we understand the needs of a customer, not just today's, and what customer is looking for from his network uh, in the maybe in the next three to five years to come. So that's where why we feel that we are the best suited partner for an enterprise customer like you. Thank you. Having said all this, uh, one thing which uh, we all know is seeing is believing. Unfortunately, we can't. For positive time, we can't show you uh, the live demo, but the next best thing is to get uh, our services endorsed by some of our customers who are in India and uh, outside India. So next we'll play out a couple of uh, videos uh, about the endors uh, which endorses our services, managed services by some of our customers. Tradition and the holidays go hand in hand. It's a time to go back to our roots, to celebrate family and fellowship. For one candy shop company in particular, it's a time to share family traditions with the community. From festive decorations to daily samples of decadent candies and chocolates, the holidays have always been integral to this major manufacturer and retailer of candy. Their shops are a sweet stop during the holiday hustle. From their famous black and white stores to their famous kiosks and your favorite local shopping center, this candy retailer has been bringing joy to America for almost 100 years. As a nod to their corner store roots and the close relationship they've always had with their customers, this candy store retailer expands on their 250 plus locations by implementing about 160 pop-up kiosks throughout the U.S. each year from Thanksgiving to Valentine's Day. Standing up over 160 new retail kiosks is a daunting task under any circumstances. Doing so in a matter of weeks and getting those sites fully integrated into the existing business systems so they operate seamlessly as an extension of the brick and mortar stores requires a robust and highly sophisticated network solution. So they called on Hughes, their longtime network partner, to configure, deploy and maintain the network at each site. Not only does each kiosk require a pre-configured network solution that's fully functional out of the box, but each year the equipment must be reconfigured and updated to integrate into the current retailer's business ecosystem. Normally, it would be very difficult, even impossible in some circumstances, to find any provider willing to support a partial year deployment like this, especially on a compressed timeline. At Hughes, we solve these kind of challenges on the daily. It's kind of our thing. Hughes pre-configures over 160 unique devices, pre-staging all the equipment with this retailer's IT team on a precise schedule. Then, the team adds in the other IT components and ships to the location so they can be deployed and operational on their critical launch dates. Getting the kiosk launched is just the start of the work for Hughes. Once operational, Hughes works with local service providers in the background to ensure a seamless integration for the site and to ensure proper provisioning and performance. Our work from here on out is to make sure the kiosks operate flawlessly, optimizing performance, monitoring resource use, and providing any needed technical support for the duration of the holiday season. This candy retailer has always seen itself as part of their communities, serving their customers directly, one piece of exceptional candy at a time. From their shops 
to their delivery vans and motorcycles, to their holiday kiosks. They continue their tradition of focusing on their customers. And like the holidays, the kiosks eventually come to a bittersweet end and need to be packed up. Just as we did with the deployment of the kiosks, Hughes works to a very tight schedule to shut them down. As they close, we terminate the temporary network circuits and reset all port and security parameters to ensure there is no unattended network access. Soon thereafter, we start receiving the network equipment back from the retailer's IT team. We verify the condition of the equipment, repair or replace any needed items, reset it all back to factory condition, and store it again for use next year. In just a matter of weeks, everything is put away and this retailer is returned to their usual operating conditions. At Hughes, we're proud to go the extra mile and be a part of this amazing annual transformation. This major manufacturer and retailer of candy is able to make the holidays a little brighter for their customers, a little sweeter for the young and the young at heart, and a little merrier for everyone who walks past one of their shops or kiosks. We are so happy to partner with our customer to deliver on this holiday initiative, supporting the solution year after year so they can focus on making the season a little more enjoyable for all. I now invite Raj Gopal Nayak, CTO Metro Brands, to shed some light on need for managed SD-WAN in retail. Over to you, Raj. Thank you, Dr. Hitesh Bhatt. Uh, hi, and uh, welcome to the members of the audience. Uh, today, we'll uh, be discussing the needs and benefits of uh, managed network services, things like managed SD-WAN, specifically for uh, the retail sector, which we are all part of. You know? As we recover from the COVID pandemic and uh, reflect back on our uh, capabilities during the pandemic, a few things you know, become apparent to us. One, mobility of manpower was restricted. This meant that the systems could not, that could not be remotely managed were at risk. Secondly, there was a marked increase in the number of cyber attacks, breaches, phishing attempts, and uh, ransomware uh, uh, driven disruptions that were there. The third point was that, you know, the work from home and the restricted uh, timings, right, of, of which were different for different states, city, town specific in some cases, right, of skewed hours in which malls and high street stores of ours were uh, open meant that their, the existing internal teams were stretched to their limit, both from the business side and from the IT network infrastructure side. The other thing was that the line or the thin line between work and life were completely blurred. There was no work-life balance to begin with. The other thing, and specifically for tech professionals like us, was that the tech sector job opportunities blossomed during COVID, which meant that there was a lot of attrition within our teams, right? And also specifically within the infrastructure teams. Now, as a result of all of the above, uh, business that leveraged managed services, you know, uh, tended to fare much better as there was a fungibility of both talent and resources that was built into the structure. So they tended to do much better and they were more resilient during uh, the pandemic. And retail sector, you know, retail business per se tends to be distributed and fragmented by design. This means that we operated on distributed point of sale systems, which are our lifeline. Some of us have also gone ahead and adopted cloud-based POS systems. What happens is that for both types of systems to work, network connectivity becomes mission critical. It's the lifeline of the operation. Much more so for cloud-based POS systems, which are inherently need to be connected and online. Being able to remotely monitor the store from a point of view of customer video analytics or getting up to the minute off-tech data to drive real-time offer management within our POS, especially during the crunch uh, month ends or during uh, uh, sale, end of season sales, etc., becomes critical. Ensuring that our customers are able to leverage uh, their loyalty points, given that majority of, in, of the systems, the loyalty points are third-party SaaS-based systems which are integrated with our cloud POS or, or our offline POS. All of this gets only possible if there is consistent network connectivity being delivered to our stores. Now, for 
a lot of our uh, uh, retail partners you know having dedicated mpls or ill uh, that is internet lease line is not everybody's cup of tea given the upfront costs and commitments that are involved over there from a point of view of store profitability now this is where one you know needs to look for companies that offer managed services right like managed sd van as a service now let's talk about managed sd van now managed sd van offerings today are mature enough for the retail sector to adopt you know while uh, sd van as a technology has been around for a number of years now today it is possible to have a, a good partner provide managed sd van services that leverage things like bring your own connectivity right wherein you you are free to choose between the partners connectivity options or your own connectivity options certain malls might have restrictions with respect to the kind of connectivity that they allow maybe there's a, a, a there's a problem over there you can still bring in your own connectivity the connectivity today can be broadband based from a local broadband player it can be even lte based now typically what happens is that when you when you talk of lte okay uh, people are always worried of the kind of throughput that an lte system might provide you know it it's never as consistent as let's say an internet lease line but today there is technology uh, that is possible wherein you can have you can have multiple lte connections from different partners all getting multiplexed together not only from a redundancy point of view but also to have an increased parallel throughput across multiple broadband lte providers by shaping the traffic that is a capability that is also there the other thing of managed services that you you convert you know uh, to a pure opex model with pay as you go and uh, uh, lesser upfront investments and uh, uh, commitments as uh, far as uh, uh, sustaining is concerned now the other important thing is that you know being able to view what is happening on the store on a real time basis with respect to network utilization this enables us you know as uh, it professionals and uh, business leaders to have a scientific and data driven approach to answer the general push that comes from business of blaming everything on the network especially for lost sale right now being able to provide consistent cyber security rules and deployment of the same across all your stores is another critical thing that is possible with uh, sd wan uh, technologies in play today and but becomes much more easier if it is managed okay? uh, in total you know i would recommend all the members of the audience today to evaluate manage sd wan as an offering which is something quite new in the market and take an informed decision on your store expansion journey wishing for a quick recovery of business for you and all the best thank you for your time thank you very much raj for your wonderful insights uh, and with this i would like to move to the next session of this uh, webinar this is the q and a session and we have got a couple of questions from the audience i would like to take at least a couple of them and see ask our experts here today the first question would be <clears throat> can hugs provide only equipment or only service is it mandatory to take bundled offering any any one of you can answer this allow me to answer this uh, so hugs is a service provider and uh, of course we are not a hardware seller so we give end to end complete managed services and we do what is best for you as per your requirement and as per the current infra which you have so if there is some part of it which you already have we try to integrate in our solution so that it is not wasted however we will try to do a next level solution managed services keeping in mind your next level requirement on that part of it and we will advise you accordingly on that so you don't have to go for bundled services always but that depends on the situation and the requirement thank you thank you thank you sanjay we will go to the second audience question how is yugs different from telcos in terms of their managed service offerings including the cpe who would like to take this question uh hitesh uh, i would like to take up this question if i may please please jaram uh, so uh, i would like to put it in a, i would like to coin a new term uh, there are telcos 
there are system integrators and i would like to describe hughes as a enterprise managed service provider the key word is enterprise or key words are enterprise and managed because what it means is a focused service provider who is focused on providing what a, who knows what an enterprise wants across segments uh, be it retail banking uh, uh, e learning uh, i would say it's a digital cinema uh, these are some of the segments uh, that we uh, operate on we serve customers in and another th part is the managed service part wherein we focus on what customer wants for instance we uh, you might have uh, heard about uh, our hues on managed lt service wherein we integrate multiple telcos and provide a service uh, i mean a seamless transparent service a telco would never be able to provide a service of another telco whereas we can second thing uh, you might have heard of some of the product like iron find or iron find x these are developed by us because we do i mean we are not a uh, product company we are not an equipment seller we are a service provider as sanjay mentioned earlier again i it is coming back to the same point we felt that to provide certain set of services that a customer needs not a single cp exists which can provide everything in one box so we made that and we are not selling it at a premium we are selling it uh, at a price which is affordable to the customer so that they can avail of our services so i'm just trying to give an insight of how we think so we are different at telcos i mean telcos do a great job because because of them we are getting uh, this fantastic lt service and tomorrow it will go to 5g they have the licenses etc but they have main focus on consumers and they do have an enterprise segment but do have limited focus and telcos typically do uh, give the service in a cookie cutter manner i mean uh, specific services whereas we provide customized services by understanding the needs of a customer i mean not just today's needs like if i recommend a particular network uh, with different components i will recommend based on what you will need for the next 3 4 years not just for today i built in the scalability flexibility uh whether it's reporting uh visibility uh bandwidth uh, i mean uh, technology guarding against technology obsolescence etc etc thank you thank you jeram for the wonderful insights dear all we have got a lot of questions here today with us but unfortunately due to the paucity of time we cannot take all the questions right now i would request you all to share your questions with us over a mail and we would be happy to get back to you with this we come to the conclusion of our webinar on yugs managed sd wan for retail b2b secure fast and agile i thank our eminent uh, panelists today sanjay jairam rajgopal and shilpa for sharing their wonderful insights with us thank you everyone once again for joining us today and until we meet for the next time thank you and take care